Good morning, West Michigan. We are waking up to what is a very cold start to the day. A little on the breezy side still, and just enough of a breeze out there to uh, kick those wind chills down into the teens in a lot of places. A couple of live shots for you. We'll show you fairly quiet conditions. We'll have a good deal of cloud cover this morning. Temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s. And with that uh, northwest to westerly wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour, we do have those wind chills down in the teens and low 20s. So definitely a morning for bundling up. We topped out at 51 yesterday in Grand Rapids. Uh, above average temperatures as we closed out the weekend, 52 in Kalamazoo. But of course, those powerhouse winds came along with a strong cold front. And that's why we are breezy and much colder today. Sunshine returns tomorrow and we'll flirt with 50 degrees for a high here on Wednesday. Now here's a look at the satellite radar composite and you can see a few isolated flurries uh, and snow showers across the area, especially pronounced across northern lower Michigan and sections of the UP. Today that cold front moving away from us will open the door for this area of high pressure to build in that will actually start to clear the clouds out. So we might see some pockets of sunshine today and we'll see more in the way of sunshine coming up as we head through the day tomorrow. And here is a look at the future cast and you'll notice that at least for today and tomorrow, really not much in the way of any significant precipitation. Really, the next weather maker coming our way, which will have any serious precipitation associated with it, will come through on Thursday. And at this point, it looks like that is going to be a wintry mix for us. So, Thanksgiving Day, a little bit colder with a wintry mix out there, high temps in the 40s. By Friday, we're back to snow showers and high temperatures only in the mid 30s. We should be quiet for most of the weekend into early next week, aside from maybe a few snow flurries on Saturday. Uh, but look Look at this. The 8 to 14 day temperature outlook is finally go backing off the cold pocket of air that will be with us for the next couple of weeks anyway. And we'll be looking at uh, the temperature outlook from uh, the end of November into early December as above to much above average from the Great Lakes region to the Gulf Coast and back to the western part of the United States. So some warmer air building in for early December. So Tom, how are drivers doing this morning? Well, right now we are just working with a couple of issues along eastbound and westbound I-94 in the Kalamazoo and Portage area right now. Uh, westbound I-94 crash after US-131. Again, just one lane blocked in that direction and so far uh, not causing a significant delay for drivers in that area. Uh, not far from there, we have crash along the eastbound lanes of I-94. This one at 9th Street. Same situation here. We do have a single lane blocked, so, so far not causing a significant delay. We'll keep monitoring these for you and let you know if that does become problematic for drivers in that area. Take a look right now at all the freeways heading into and around downtown Grand Rapids. For the time being, those are crash-free. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Donovan.